is a monk fantasy lover. Yeah. But how would the prisoners get the book? Well, they can't get the book. You know, coffee table book with a half naked woman on the cover. Serving you a hook of hashes. No, that would never get to. But <laughs> all you need to do is send it to them as an e uh, a text message attachment on their smuggled smartphones. Oh, yeah. Prisoners got anything they want. Drugs. Well, that gives a whole new meaning to shove it up your ass. <laughs> If you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They can get this uh, whole five book series uh, in an instant. And then they can share it on their contraband smartphones with all the other inmates. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, mm. well, let me uh, 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 get into what is the book about, basically. It's, it, it researches the original cleft between the West and the East, uh, the West hashish phobic, drug uh, marijuana phobic, uh, the East, especially Islamic cultures, uh, alcohol uh, phobic, you know, the elixir of Satan. Uh, what happened was in the 11th century, Hashishan and his assassins, uh, you know, like I said, uh, battled the knights, the Christian knights, and uh, this is historical fiction. Uh, these are all real, all uh, based on, on reality. I mean, the rock fortress of Hashishan is still there. You can visit it if you want to. Uh, and then I put a story to it to make it fun. As God is early, has turned me on to do that make it fun and relevant to uh, our life right now. So the first chapter uh, talks about Hashishan getting turned on by Omar Khayyam. Uh, turned down an empty glass. Yeah, that was, uh, he was his best friend. Uh, so, talk about the, the stronghold set up and uh, how he created the pleasure garden. What did he do? Uh, he would capture uh, enemies, but he rather than kill them, especially if they are good looking, <clears throat> he would uh, stone them to the gills with ashes, and then they would bask them up to the summit of the rock, and when they opened their eyes, they would be in a pleasure garden. <laughs> and uh, with all beautiful women around, ready to uh, ride right down to Mazari Sharif. Oh, yeah. And then uh, he was attacked. Second chapter, uh, the sneezing falcon. Disgruntled uh, former landlord uh, put a siege uh, to Hashishan's rock. Tried to starve him out. But he had a weakness. He was allergic to wildflowers, so Hashishan sent uh, Roxana. Okay, inmates, Roxana is your girlfriend. Uh, yeah, Roxana, so she had run through the marijuana fields naked. Lavender, and a tulip, larkspur. Yeah, she get all pollinated up with a microscum of pollen and then go visit Hashishan's enemy. <laughs> Falcon? Yeah. Can't say more. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, those are the first two shows. This is a hilarious, so, you know, take on a real story. Okay? And then the final chapter, um, Hashish Gule Archipelago brings the book up right to 2020, going into 2021. Um, I'm just going to read you the first uh, page of uh, the Hashish Gule Archipelago, if I can find them. <laughs> uh, yeah, in this, uh, you know, I have a sophisticated setup here. You know, my porch in Hawaii. All right, well, let's, yeah, yeah, there's the Hashish 
show. Gulag archipelago. Hmm. Oh yeah, Emerald Triangle, Northern California. <laughs> well, pretty good performance, huh? Start your day. What's my mantra when I start my day? How much fun can we have on planet Earth today? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll uh, hash these Gulag Archipelago, you know, Gulag Archipelago, uh, Solzhenitsyn, Day in the Life, Russian Dissident, you've never heard of him. Okay. Uh, it was during the Great Drug, drug Wars, during the uh, last half century, uh, that the nation state system was on the rocks, yeah. And uh, they were looking for an excuse to bash some people, common people. <clears throat> Thus it came to pass uh, that a culture clash, a planetary culture clash, developed between uh, the nation state mega hustlers and the earth people. The earth people are not aligned to any uh, nation. They're transnational. They're earth lovers. And uh, rather to the notion that uh, uh, our earth lives should be happy and healthy based on love, love? <laughs> and peace Oops. Uh, oh, oh, the nation overlords base their trip on controlling all money <laughs> how much money do you have <clears throat> um all military power Oh, yeah, they've got nukes out of their ass. Blow everything up at any moment. And, uh, yeah, they control all babies who happen to come out on their patch of turf. Make them uh, compulsory military service. Yeah, make them uh, set them up to kill other Earth people from other nations, whether they like it or not. And there's no escape clause. Yeah. Oh, the nation titans claim a monopoly on self-righteousness. Yeah, uh, by suppressing the human rights of us common humans, earth people, by telling people what they can think. Yeah. Feel. And well, they can even put in their mouth uh, and swallow. And, and in this way, the nation overlords continue to live. Wow, hi. Oh, all those, uh, all those whores, huh? Oh, yeah, let's pick up the phone. Escort service? Oh, yeah, bring three, th three uh, babes over. I'll have uh, uh, one uh, African-American, one, one slender Chinese babe with little tits. And uh, don't forget, uh, you know, ex-junkie from uh, New York. Yeah, they're, they're, they fuck so good. Huh? Um, and, uh, yeah, they party hardy. And um, where and when and how they like. And from their point of view. You know what? Damn that wartime cannon fodder. Those peasant suckers and losers back in the ghetto. All right, that's a taste of, you know. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, it's a poem. It's written in poetic stances. <laughs> yeah, it goes out for about 20 pages. So anyway, uh, that's the book. And... Um, uh, well, Andre watched the first part of the Goddess Earth Pentology overall umbrella introduction. I live in a rainforest. I gotta take an umbrella wherever I go. Well, um, so Andre's been my main support. I mean, he is a brilliant programmer from Silicon Valley. And uh, base pay for him is $160,000 a year. All you people on food stamps, 
like way. I'll try to wrap your mind around that. Andre's pulling in three thousand dollars a week. So he quit his job so he could make room in his life to support the vision of the earth people. And he's come over and hung out with me, I can't remember how many times, six or seven times in the last five years, and, uh, you know, parked the Tesla at home and uh, read, a, read a red Mustang convertible. It's a Hilo Air <laughs> And we just like burn up the big island in our Atheogen Buddha hiking club. I said to tell you what Atheogens were. Uh, marijuana, uh, uh oh, oh, not addictive. Uh, LSD. <laughs> I got to be careful taking next week because I give all my clothes away. The first person I see, huh? Just wear some ragged clothes when I trip on that, huh? My favorite, huh? Um, 2CB. Mmm! Oh. Ibogan? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ayahuasca? Mm -hmm. oh. Peyote. Mm -hmm. All on addictive, soft toe. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, a Theogen Buddha Hiking Club. You know, I can't say more, but uh, use your imagination. The Volcano National Park, Premier Park, and it's just an hour from my love shack. Love shack? QB52. If you had a Tesla, you just say love shack B52, and, <laughs> and you really don't need to have your hands on the wheel. Yeah, we tore up Mount Shasta area, too, when I visit California. Yeah, and the other uh, 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 real pillar uh, uh, that has really uh, got this project to where it is, is Robbie. Well, who is Robbie? Well, Robbie is a uh, hey, gorgeous transgender goddess. How gorgeous? Look. Yeah. Need a new laptop? Those Amazon design team fees. Right, it's always got me covered. And she's my literary attorney. <laughs> Don't mess with us. Uh, or she will. <clears throat> Love transgender people, huh? so creative, so courageous. Uh, so well, thanks, Robbie. Robbie's been over, uh, I don't know, a couple of times a year, seems like. Uh, Jet's over from the West Coast, and we, <laughs> we have so much fun. You know, Robbie doesn't drink spring water. You know, bee feeder and, uh, you know, a mixer. <laughs> Gin tonics. Mm. Uh, gets us, you know, through the whole day there. Huh? Hey, you know, the whole thing about uh, hippie history, we blend alcohol and, and, and entheogens wisely. Dumb people do dumb drugs dumbly. Wise people. Use wise drugs. <laughs> Wisely. Watch the dose, huh? The difference between 70 milligrams of ecstasy and 140. Gotta watch out, huh? Microdosing? <laughs> All right, I gotta wrap this up. I thought this would take like seven or eight minutes. I'm like into the 40 minute range now. Uh, the book was 35 hours. It looks like it's going to be 36 hours. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Uh, well, what is the philosophical, psychological, spiritual basis of the Earth people vision? Well, okay. Uh, yeah, I've showed you all my books. Well, let me show you off the books of my spirit master's guides. The first one is Sri Aurobindo. 
Let me see if I can get this. Yeah. Sri Aurobindo wrote The Life Divine you know, about a hundred years ago. Uh, brilliant. And, and I be, uh, somebody actually brought this book to me, to my cave. Mm -hmm. And I stored it there too, as you <laughs> find out in Yearning for Earth. Place. And I, 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 uh, I prayed at his tomb in Pondicherry, India. Lived there at the Aurobindo Ashram in Auroville, the global city. And how often have I used this book? This book is, I have to put a rubber band to it because it's falling apart. Oh, what's that? Oh, there's a hundred dollar bill in there. Um, yeah, this book, uh, um, if I were a Christian, my Bible, tough times, I actually put this under my pillow. If I'm getting attacked by wrathful entities, so, okay. Then the first turning, instead of the first uh, uh, comprehensive reinterpretation of Sri Aurobindo, uh, 100 years later, was by Ken Wilber. And uh, Ken Wilber uh, makes things really clear. It's brilliant. He reads like thousands of books and synthesizes them all into little books like this. Intrical Buddhism by Ken Wilber. If you're a Buddhist or like spiritual, get this book, okay? It's got the whole... Oh, okay. Okay, those are my two guys. Uh, you know, Andre got a peek at, you know, first uh, the first uh, part of the video, and he had suggestions, you know. Uh, because, look, the basic... What I'm trying to say... It's the young people, it's the teenagers, the 20-year-olds, the millennial 30-year-olds that can rescue our species. We old people can't do it. I'm like a, an old rechargeable battery that's been charged thousands of times. I can hardly hold the charge anymore. <laughs> you know, wake up feeling like... I need to go to bed. So we need the young people. So uh, Andre suggested I put sound effects. I mean, you know, the rain's okay, but okay. So I got out. So Andre. Andre. Okay. So we did the sound effects. Oh. Uh, uh, and. Uh, what else did he want me to do? Oh, 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 oh. oh the Athegian Buddha Hiking Club, we talked about that. Oh, how we run the club, we run it on a fun meter. What's a fun meter? Well, it's a, it's like a clock, It goes, but it goes from 1 to 10. And we have to be having as much fun. It's got to be 7 to 10 on the fun meter. If it goes below 7, uh, we change what we're doing. Yeah. So a fun meter, good guide. Yeah, put one of those in your third eye. You know, just put put the fun meter here. And uh, yeah, okay, the fun meter. Hmm. Oh. Well, he wanted to tell you a little bit about how I live. Okay. I live on a ninety-acre gorgeous estate here, private property, and. Uh, thousand feet on the slopes of Mauna Loa Volcano. And I live just one hour from, you know, the Volcano National Park, riddled with hiking trails. I know every trail. And good place to trip out on nature. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I live in an off-the-grid shack here. I've lived here for 15 years. I have no plumbing, no running water hot or cold, uh, no bathroom of any kind, no electricity, no solar power. Uh, to bathe, I have a horse trough off my porch that I stand in and I pour water over my head with a pan of water. And that's good enough to do dishes. I'll show you the horse trough uh, at the very end. Beautiful horse trough, huh? Uh, no pension, no social security, food stamps. Yeah, I, 
I basically live on food stamps. Okay, look. You may say, look. Oh, oh okay, Earthman. Performance contradiction. All this, uh, you know, kind of, it seems like this dark energy you have towards America. Well, what's about that, huh? They're feeding your, your ass. Well, good point. Because I'm not anti-American at all. Freedom of speech? Live in America. You can't be talking like I'm talking in Iran. Or hardly anywhere else. Don't try any, any of this stuff in Turkey. They'll put you in jail. A lot of beautiful things about the United States. You know, I was born in the Haight-Ashbury. I love the United States. I'm not anti any country. The countries, we need them. They're, you know, they're a lot better than what had come before, like endless war. But they've grown into being a, a drag on the evolution. They must be lowered into the realm of power that's appropriate for them. And uh, the Earth government is more appropriate. You know, the post-United Nations thinks the United Nations running things. So the Earth could be saved, or if some of these leaders take a trip of acid at Burning Man and get a life. Open their goddamn eyes a little bit. I'm not anti-American. I'm pro-Earth. Pro-Earth. Yeah, the countries are okay. They just need to go be relegated down the power chain so they can't war with each other, so they can't starve each other to death. They can't kill their own citizens by the millions. Yeah, so thank you for food stamps, and thank you, Hawaii, you know, oh, you're generous, uh, aloha, yeah, that's real, huh? Well, yeah, uh, I, you know, this year, I got, I got six, I, I make a contribution to the mortgage payment, I mean, it's 90 acres, huh, of $250 a month, and I got, Six months behind, I just couldn't, couldn't, and no income, no source. And my, uh, the owner of the property said, look, uh, Earth man, you seem to be worrying way too much about your contribution. I will never ask you to leave my estate for as long as you live. Relax. That is real social security. It's not something on paper that can be taken away. Okay? That's how I live. Give me a handshake. Give me your word. You know. Good. Uh, well, uh, let's see, anything else? Uh, let's see. Last, I'm going to show you one more picture out of... Uh, I'm going to show you how beautiful the reproductions of, 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 of my books are. You could get, go into any library, randomly pick a thousand books, put them all down, and my gorgeous books will win first prize every time. Check out this photograph. Okay? Beautiful Orientalist painting. And there's 40 of them in the book. She's smoking a joint of ashish while pondering her orgasm from her warrior lover. Well, uh, so I think a better time to wrap this up. Oh, Andre, yeah, a little technical. Millennials like to vlog a, a lot. Yeah. Uh, okay, how did I create this amazing uh, 36 hours of uh, video performance? Well, um, I turned on my Galaxy 8 Note smartphone. Set it on video. And pressed play. Play? Uh, oh, yeah, he wants 
we have a website. We have a, a beautiful website. Uh, Robbie helped me with that. Uh, called the Earth, uh, Earth People World Headquarters dot com. Earth People World Headquarters dot com. Where is that? <laughs> In my heart. Yeah. All right. It's getting time to wrap this up. Anything? Else? Is that okay, Andre? Little tech, tech uh, information there. Oh, okay. I won't forget. Um, when you listen to these uh, videos, use an external speaker, <laughs> like a JBL, you know, Bluetooth speaker, or at least earbuds, you know, to put into your laptop, tablet, or smartphone. The sound is, you know, hugely better. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. Give you a tour of my pad and. Um, all right, let's do that. So, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, what? <clears throat> well, um, <clears throat> here is my uh, sophisticated um, setup here. <laughs> and a lovely, lovely rainforest. <laughs> lovely rainforest. Oh. Songbirds. Symphony of songbirds in the morning. Pristine. World's fresh as air. Uh, well, West Coast could use a little of that. Huh? Well, Andres taught me not to pan too fast so it gets blurry. Yeah. Well, there's my porch and uh, guest bed. Yeah, come on over. Take a tour. Oh, there's my horse trough. There's my bath. And, um, hmm. Uh, water off the roof. Don't have an eaves trough. That will probably help a little bit. And from there, I, uh, you know, get water to do my dishes. This is my uh, kitchen. Mm hmm. Spring water. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I ever see a blooming ginger? Oh, that's a lily koi. Right. Oh, headed in to. Oh, oh. Well, this is my, we call this a kitchen porch. Oh, spring water. You know. Oh, oh, one burner, camp stove, that's, oh, we have endless amounts of uh, avocados here, huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, so I heat up some water, and, uh, uh, you know, shave, I can see, you know, and put, you know, do my little coconut makeup, you know, make, whoops, uh, my hand's getting shaky, I'm coming on to 74, huh? shaky hand, <laughs> Uh, all right, oh, all right. well, and then, uh-oh, this is uh, my main room. Let me put this curtain. Yeah, you, know, you got a lot of mosquitoes here, so you got to kind of have a curtain or something to usually, uh, hmm, so here we are in, oh, that's my medicine chest. Hmm, oh, let's alter. The goddess Earth. Oh, oh my dad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so my, I've uh, covered the um, inside of my kind of a crazy uh, micro uh, monster in a way uh, with uh, Tonkas. Yeah, love Tonkas. Love to, you know, it's like floor to ceiling. Uh, Tonkas, a uh, mosquito net. This is where I work. Uh, I don't have a desk or anything. You know, without. Oh, there's another picture of Rob. <laughs> and my books. And I love crossword puzzles, okay? I mean, this, uh, look, I mean, uh, it, 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 it's. Oh, the goddess, huh? Crossword puzzles. Yeah. Oh, there's my closet. There's all my clothes. Oh. 
Kokyo my guru, Alma, the hugging saint. And, uh, yeah. So to wrap this up, uh, you know, enjoy Goddess Earth Pentology. Gio. And, uh, hope it turns you on. And I hope she turns you on. Like, 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 like help us out. We need the young energy. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, lots of love and peace. And, uh, stay beautiful. And stay crazy.